Welcome to EDFT 460 for 2014, so Creativity and Imagination in Education, a fully online unit. The purpose of this quick video is to introduce you to me and also to introduce you to the unit and to just give you some little pointers to start thinking about over the next couple of weeks as we, as we begin to launch into, um, into the unit itself. So my name is Adam Staples, I'm a lecturer here at uh, ACU in the Faculty of Education and Arts on the Melbourne campus. Um, my specific discipline is visual arts education, but I'm also I'm a big fan of online learning, so I look after a suite of, of fully online units. And Creative and Imagination is one of them, and the other one is the learning space. It's great to see that uh, there are some names from last semester from students who are in the learning space in this unit now. Um, and so what we're beginning to get now is this real sort of continuity in the unit. So um, you, you, for those of you who are new to online learning and new to learning with me in the online environment, you're going to have support from um, some really key uh, online learners um, from last semester, so that's absolutely fantastic. I suppose one of the really big things that I just want to highlight at the, at the beginning is that um, learning online is very different to learning in a face-to-face -face environment, and um, you know, I need you to acknowledge that. So it's, it, when you go into the unit and when you read the unit outline, it's going to be a very different take on what you're used to. So you don't get all the information in one fell swoop. Um, I release the, the content week by week because I've always felt that having 12 weeks of content sort of in your face at the very beginning can be overwhelming. Um, and I, I need you to trust me that I, I um, the way that I scaffold you through the unit means that you're being challenged. Um, you know, it's never a struggle, but it, it is a challenge as learning should be um, towards meeting your goals, which is, which is basically meeting the learning outcomes by the end of the semester. Um, it's quite a fluid unit, so um, if you're the kind of student that likes to learn in a very linear, um, prescribed fashion, you can do it that way. But if you're the kind of student that also loves to um, go off on tangents and um, start thinking in different directions, it allows you to do that as well. So that is the beauty of the, the online environment. Creativity and imagination as, an, as a concept is, is um, right at the forefront of, of educational policy at the moment. And in the space of 12 weeks, there's no way that we can unwrap it um, you know, on a local, national and um, international level. But hopefully the unit will give you some um, introduction to what's happening on the, on, the sort of, on the global educational scene at the moment um, and start to give you ways of thinking about creativity and imagination. So by the end of the semester, you will not have you know, a series of lesson plans that make you a creative and an imaginative teacher. It's absolutely nothing to do with that. It's about what is a creative and what is an imaginative culture in a school? What is a, a creative and an imaginative teaching culture? So it's a very broad look at it. And what I'm expecting you to do is draw, draw out of that what works for you. Okay, so student A will have a very different experience to student B. Um, you know, students will have a different, ex very different experience to me, whereas there will also be students who have a very similar experience to me and, and vice versa. So it, it, it's, it's got much broader boundaries than perhaps in a normal face-to-face -face unit. Uh, but having said that, there are still requirements, there's still hard work that needs to be done, um, and you do need to be focused for the, the whole 12 weeks. So just taking you through the unit very quickly as it appears on Leo. Um, the, the whole unit is on Leo, and you'll see from the unit outline that um, I won't be accepting face-to-face -face consultations for this unit. So um, more than anything, that's out of fairness to, to the entire student cohort. We have students in Melbourne, we have students in Brisbane, we have students in Sydney, we have students in Wollongong, we have students in Germany. And so if the students on the Melbourne campus were having the ability, you know, having, having time to come and see me face to face, it, it produces a bit of a sort of inequitable um, uh, environment. So there will be no face to face uh, consultation with me. Um, emails preferred or via Leo or um, by telephone. Okay, so on the screen you can actually see. Uh, the home page for Leo now. When you log on to it and if you click on to my units on the left hand side just here, your units will appear um, in a drop down menu. Now because I'm using a, a demo code at the moment, I've only got um, two units appearing. Um, I'd imagine you've probably got four or five. So if you click on the EDFD 460-2014 um, link, that'll take you into the home page unit as it appears at the moment. And you'll see that we have a unit information module, we have a communication module, and we have a week one module. Throughout the course of the semester, those will increase. So every week I'll release um, the subsequent week's content. Um, and by the time you actually come and have a look at it, having, um, you know, once the unit's been 
open for a few days. There'll be a welcome module there, um, and I'll put the assessment one up as well. Uh, looking at the unit information module, when you click on that, it'll open up with um, the unit outline and also um, a biography about myself. Um, you'll see in the top left-hand corner there, the U of unit information is, is missing, and I'm actually trying to work out why that's happened at the moment. So at some stage in the semester, that will um, that'll change. You'll be able to see the whole unit, and you'll know that I have, uh, I've sorted that particular issue out. Now, with the unit outline, there's a slight um, change to the way that you would usually um, see a unit outline in that I've made it into a web page rather than into um, a Word document. And this means that it will be a changing entity throughout the course of the semester. So assessment won't change and the structure of the unit won't change. But as more things begin to develop on Leo, I'll be putting the links onto the unit outline. So I really want the unit outline to be, um, you know, to be a, a working document. As you scroll through the document, um, you will see that it's got all the normal information in there. Um, at the top on the left hand side, you've got a menu. And when you click on to any of the items in that menu, it will take you to that particular, um, that particular part of the, the unit outline. So for instance, if we were to have a look at the, um, the brief overview of assessment, if I click on the assessment tab, it'll take us to assessment. And you'll see under each section, it also says back to top. So if you were to click on that, it'll take you to the back, of, back to the top of the page, and then you can look at the um, menu again. EDFD 460 is a paperless unit. Okay, so to the best of our abilities, it's not going to be about printing off reams of text. All the all the required text text that you need to engage will be will be on Leo via as, as links. So you don't need to buy anything. Um, please try and avoid printing off if you can. Um, if it if it mean if you do feel that you have to print off, you will see that down here at the bottom of um, of the menu on the on the web version of the unit you know, outline, there's actually a, a download print version. You can download the, the normal version of it. In the communication module, this is going to be really important. Throughout the semester, you'll be using this extensively. There are questions and queries for Adam and important messages from Adam. And at certain points throughout the semester, I'm going to ask you to actually um, almost prove that you've gone into those discussion forums. So don't ignore them. Um, there are always going to be important uh, messages in there, especially the questions and, and queries for Adam. Um, because if, if somebody's got a question, it's, it's most probable that somebody else has got a similar one. So rather than emailing me privately, as long as it's not a, a, a private, private query, put it into there and when I answer it means that you can, you can see all of them. And actually if you look into questions and queries for Adam already, you will see that um, Carly has already posted a really good um, question about required text. The other module that is appearing at the moment is the week one module. And um, this is basically the structure that every single weekly module will have um, throughout the course of the semester. So you'll have, uh, in the top left, you'll have the week. Then you'll have the main theme for that particular week or a series of weeks. We're going to be using uh, the work of an academic called Jilly Salmon who works at Swinburne University to give us a framework in our to develop our ability to, to learn in the online environment. And as we progress through the unit, you'll progress through her five stages. So whilst that isn't the content of the unit, it is a really important underlying and very effective um, tool to be using. Then there's going to be an introduction. Uh, then you'll have the readings for each particular week. You'll have any resources that are needed, um, discussion forums, ACS refers to Adobe Connect sessions, which we'll be using to communicate with each other. e activities are the little tasks that you have to do um, each week, and um, each e activity attracts 2% of the unit um, total, apart from e activity 6, which is 3%. So the e activities make up assessment number 1, or assignment number 1, um, at a total of 25%. And then each week there'll also be um, a review as well. So I'll do a, a very short video recap um, of uh, the, the previous week. As the unit progresses, you will see that um, the, the, um, the modules increase and they don't get hidden away. So you'll have unit information, communication. At some point, there'll be a, a welcome module in there. Um, and then week one, week two, week three, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and also an assignment one. We use Twitter quite a lot in, a lot in this unit. So you'll see on the right-hand side here, uh, there's a Twitter feed going through. The, the Twitter feed, um, or the way to actually be part of that Twitter feed, is to send a tweet with the hashtag 
hashtag EDFT460, which you can see there. Every time you include that in a tweet, your tweet will appear into this, um, this Twitter feed down here. And already there's beginning to be a little bit of um, action happening, which is absolutely fantastic. So that's the, the, the basic way of, of moving through the unit. Um, so the, you've got the uh, HTML or the, the web version of the unit outline. Um, you're going to have communication, and you're also going to have um, each weekly module with the various different resources, readings, and, and activities. I must reiterate that come into this unit with a really positive mind. Okay, it is a, a new way to, of working, but one of the, or not even one of the, I suppose the key thing to this unit is actually develop a community of practice and develop a way of learning um, as a social group. And that doesn't mean that everything do is done as a group. It means that you are part of a group. And if you wish to learn in an individual way or if you, to if you wish to learn with other people, you can do both. But it's very important that in order to have a good and effective and enabling time within this unit, that you are a part of um, the online environment, okay? And it means that you need to come into every week. You don't need to be there for hours and hours, but you need to give it at least three hours within the unit um, a week, and also all the additional readings and things like that. It's a great unit, it's challenging. Um, you'll have peaks and troughs that sometimes you'll really be into the content, and other times it will be challenging. But it's, it's absolutely fantastic, and there are a lot of you. There's 140 of you in the unit, so um, there are lots of different voices and lots of different opinions and lots of different perspectives. So I look forward to working with you over the next 12 weeks. It's going to be good fun. Um, as I said, it will be hard work as well. I, wouldn't, I need you to be self-directed. I need you to be um, uh, resilient. I need you to persevere with it. And uh, any time you've got any questions, you know how to contact me. Uh, but wish you well for the 12 weeks, and look forward to seeing you online next week.